We're here with Aziza at the grand opening of her art exhibit in Los Angeles. Aziza's talked to us. Hello. Tell me how excited you are to be here just tonight. I'm very excited to have my gallery uh, guests and uh, I'm very happy to have my art uh, collectors and uh, my friends tonight uh, in my transition art exhibition. What do you mean by transition art? Talk to me about what's influenced you. Oh. Uh, it's, well, let's look at this piece that we have right over here. What was your influence on this? Mm, this one actually is uh, made the photo. It's a photo making by my friend. She did this after uh, I went uh, through a very difficult time in my life, and I just stay in the ocean. I didn't expect her to make this uh, picture, and she made it. And after she said, "Do something with this piece." And I did acrylic print, and on top of that, I add the sun and the air on the, to, to be grounded to, to our planet. And to the but earth. it's absolutely a beautiful piece, I gotta tell you. It's one of the first things that caught my eye when I walked in. Yeah. But another one in is this one right over here. Yeah. I mean, you, can help, you can't help but notice that there's a woman over here, and we have one over here, and another one that's over here, so. What, what does this mean? This one, um, the piece uh, I create after also uh, through my transition to another uh, step in my life. It's called Life is a Beautiful Journey. You, uh, you shouldn't give up any time when you fell down or something happened to you in your life. You have to continue to keep up and create new things in your life and be brave, be positive and uh, try to live uh, with harmony and peace and try to find your balance and in your life and achieve your goals and you always be a winner in your life and be first be like a sunshine and uh, do whatever you feel like you want to do create art dance and live your life up to the well i love the color in this piece over here because you, you seem to have captured like all different aspects of the color spectrum and it's it's just beautiful it's like going through a journey it's like going through a journey with this woman as she's going through life is what i'm seeing right over here i mean that's my immediate takeaway and you know another one that i can't help but notice is this one right over here this one is a very meaningful piece uh, of art. I created this in 2019, and actually it's a flower of life, and it's two person going up on the on the life, and they are um, making a community. In the center of this uh, piece, you, you can see the heads of the humans, and uh, actually it's 12 people on the top, and two people in the center, it's a man and a woman. They are in love. And my trademark, it's lips between people. And hugs and love, you can see in all these paintings. And also, uh, this painting, I try to uh, introduce my Uzbek heritage, my culture, because we use a lot of like a mosaic style in our paintings, in our like uh, buildings, in our architecture also. And it's uh, it's my style. I, I you know I discovered this style to how to create this uh, the tiles like style. And now I'm teaching this uh, style to the another art. Um, to well, you know students. I found it really interesting because if we look on this wall that's right over here. As I was going by, I love the, the concept of the painting over black. Yes. So, I mean, there's black canvas in this picture and this picture and, you know, this picture and on and on into this one. And this was like one of my favorite paintings right over here, the man and the woman. And I love how you differentiate it between the two different styles of the man has the more of the mosaic look right over here yes. and the woman is more, more little circular balls so yes. tell me how, what influenced you to come up with that concept it's like a vibration of the woman because the women they give a lot of energy to this world 
and that's why I create this style like a, it's so much to create so much to give uh, so much love and man he's very stable uh, you know uh, he's staying in this life and he is um, you know the helping to the world and holding the beautiful uh, woman next to him and they are going together to new journey well, it just kind of reminds me like of a butterfly because the woman feels like a butterfly and the man, for lack of a better word, he just looks like a piece of wood. He just looks like, he looks like just like a straight piece of wood and something that his counterpart can just lean on is what I was feeling from this. And um, did you base this on uh, a relationship that you had with someone or... No, but uh, I'm hoping. <laughs> it's my dream, and I know it's going to be, become true soon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. And then what about this one over here? Yeah. This one, it's actually, it's looked like a sun in the center of this painting. And the reflection of the sun, because uh, the sun, uh, like, a, uh, helping to, uh, like, a uh, whole uh, world, and uh, everything what it's grow, it's because the, uh, the, the sun, you know, like uh, everything in our life depends of, uh, you know, that we depend a lot from the sun and uh, how it's uh, like helping to, to live this life, you know, that's the meaning. I do, I do, I know, I, I think it's beautiful. And you know, and as again, I'm walking over to this one over here. These two on the end are just some of my favorites right over here. Yes. And I'm, I just love to know the meaning of both of those. This one actually is also a couple. They are like a woman, she's uh, coming from the water and she's like a, and also it's like her a wedding dress going to the water and they are staying on the planet Earth, on top of the, you know, planet Earth with uh, the man and woman, they are together, they are in love, and the moon, full moon, it's like a, uh, they just uh, watching the moon with no words, just uh, feeling loved and protective with each other and supportive and uh, just, like that. No, it's beautiful. And then, what about this one? This piece is like a, also, it's like a woman, she came from, from the wa water, you know, like a, from the waves of the water. And this is a uh, universe and the stars, it's around stars. Because like a, I um, consider myself, it's like a, a star and it's around my beautiful universe and around the uh, stars. Well, I think it's all beautiful. Thank Is there you. anything else that you'd like to share with us? Yes, Any sure. of your experiences as being an artist and mm -hmm. I mean, even if it's the hard times that you've gone through that got you where you are today. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can, I can talk a little bit about our gallery, how I started, you know, how I uh, opened my gallery. Also, uh, my, my life was uh, before, it's very di different than this one. I was uh, um, involved with finance. Uh, finance. I was a uh, uh, director of loan company, finance loan company, and I was a jewelry appraiser. And also, I am a teacher of the at the university. I teach accounting and audit. And after I came here, I didn't know what to do, and I went through a very hard situation in my life. And actually, how I start to do art because I never created before. And for this moment, I have like a more more than 350 pieces of my art and I have more than 150 art collectors of my art and uh, uh, two years ago I decided to open my own gallery and I'm so happy and it's so interesting uh, way how I opened the gallery it's uh, you know like a, the universe pushed me to open because two of my paintings my, um, I used to uh, uh, show my art in uh, Laguna Beach Gallery and two of my paintings flew away on the freeway uh, two big pieces 
and, and it's like a, it's a universe give me sign like you have to do something and after two months I decided to open my own uh, gallery and uh, and help to to the artists different artists from different countries to show their art and it's to um, uh, to um, to help them to have their exhibitions and uh, and I'm so happy to uh, help and uh, so happy to be involved with our community. I'm also uh, become a, a Century City Chamber of Commerce member and Century City Art Council member. Uh, the well, listen, I think, again, everything is just so beautiful here in the gallery. And uh, I want to thank you for the opportunity of interviewing you tonight. And we and all of your fans wish you the best of luck. And uh, just uh, I want to do some additions because our gallery is international. It's international gallery for... Uh, I exhibit in, uh, art from different countries, from different cities. And also we provide a lot of art classes for, uh, for kids and adults. Uh, Do you want to tell us something about uh, how people can find you online? Do you yes. have like an Instagram, we a website? Have, uh, yes, I have an Instagram account. It's uh, called AZZI underscore art and AZZI art that gallery LA uh, underscore LA. And also, I have an uh, event bride, also um, always posted my events, and uh, curate LA, as I always posted my events. And always, we have every week, we have Century City Chamber of Commerce uh, newspaper, um, and you can find out over there also. And online, I have uh, my website, ACCI underscore, uh, ACCI. Uh, I, that gallery, LA. Repeat that one more time. At ACZI Art, that gallery, LA. Okay, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you.